The following is a presentation of the Austin Reed Network, now streaming for free. From Fresno to the Oregon State Capitol and everywhere in between, with Austin Reed, this is the Reed Report. Here we go, it is November. Welcome to the Reed Report. I'm Austin Reed. I'm Kaylee Kwashnick. Happy November, the last month of 2022. Second to last month. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Close <laughs> enough. Oh my gosh. I'm obviously like super excited for 2023. Good. You have any New Year's resolutions? Uh, yeah. I want to get back into the gym. I stopped okay. working out. Yeah. That's a good um, one. Actually, I have a lot. That's, thank you for asking that. I've got a lot. I've got like a whole list. I was going to say, maybe we should write a list. We post should. Stay in the office somewhere. <laughs> I know just that. so we can reaffirm every day. We need, okay. we need a big, uh, the, the whiteboard. The whiteboard. You're working on that. I know. We, She's we working can try on to that. find one. Hey, the Reed Report is every single Friday at 8 a.m. on KMSG TV, My 53, serving the entire Central Valley. Plus, we air up in the Portland Salem area uh, on KWVT Valley 17. We love you, Northwest. Uh, and then we stream anytime on the Austin Reed Network, exclusively on Roku and Amazon Fire TV. Okay, so here's what's coming up on this week's episode of the Reed Report. Jeremiah Stroop is standing by. He'll have a look at yourweekendrundown.com. Later, he's talking to a Taylor. Taylor Swift impersonator. Mm -hmm. Later, I go one on one with Patrick Jones. Uh, this is for our viewers in the Central Valley. Mm -hmm. Patrick is running for city council in Fowler. So we're going to get to know him. Election day is on Tuesday. This is a massive election, yeah, too. Coming up. And uh, so if you haven't voted yet, you still you still have time. I have not yet. Um, I always wait to the last minute. I enjoy I enjoy waiting to the last minute. I don't like the mail-in because yeah. I like to make it fun. What about you? I'm a last minute girl. You are? Yeah. 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 <laughs> For it's, everything. So. That's how, I, I don't know. Yeah. The mailing. I mean, it's, I mean, it's good, but yeah. So make sure you uh, get your voice heard, okay? Um, we're going to kick things off with a look at what's ahead here in November, the second to last month of 2022. <laughs> What's going on? Um, when I think of November, okay, no shave November. Yeah. Comes to mind, right? So. By the way, I asked my bosses if uh, if I can do that. What was the answer? Nope. A no go. No go. Not even for prostate cancer awareness. It's news. It's news. It's yeah, because no? uh, aside from doing the read report, I do the news on Channel 53. Yeah, so right. got to keep that professionalism up. But yeah, um, No Shave November is happening. And yeah, it's all in support of prostate cancer, right? Yeah. So um, so that's coming up. Uh, obviously, Election Day. We just talked about that. What else? We've got, um, oh, Veterans Day. Say, yeah, Veterans Day coming up in... A week? Yep. Two weeks? About a, right? Yeah, about a week, November 11th. Uh, so that's ahead. And then Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, duh. What's your favorite uh, tea giving food? Mashed potatoes. My mom makes the best mashed potatoes. Really? She's famous for them, yeah. So All I right. could just eat a whole bowl and nothing else for <laughs> Thanksgiving. Else. I'd, be, I'd be totally happy. Well, are what you a ham you? or turkey person? Um, I, I like both. Mm -hmm. Probably ham. I like that too. So, yeah, I would have to, have to go with ham. Green beans are always good, a mm -hmm. staple. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I've never been a yams fan and I've never been a stuffing fan. Mm. So, yeah, those aren't really up my alley. Or, a, I know I'm going to get hate for this, but I'm not a pumpkin pie fan either. Really? Yeah, my dad's like a fiend for pumpkin pie, but... By the Not way, your thing. birthday was on Thursday yeah. this week, and um, we got you some pumpkin spice hot cocoa. Okay. I can now I'll worry. I do. No, 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 no. I <laughs> like like pumpkin flavored things. Um, it's just pie, like really any type of pie. I've just never been, like apple pie, mm. nothing. I've just never been a pie fan. Okay. I don't know why. All right. Oh, let yeah. us, oh, my favorite, uh, ham. Okay. Ham at Thanksgiving, okay. which is so random because a lot of people, you know, just think of turkey for Thanksgiving. But yeah. my dad, um, rest his soul, he passed away on October 7th. And, and by the way, um, my father, Chris, here's a picture of him. He was really instrumental in, in getting me started in a career in broadcasting. He did radio in That's the really Navy. Cool. And with Veterans Day coming up, um, he, you know, thank you for your service, Dad. I miss you. I love you. And... Um, 
We're he was a vet too. Yeah, yeah, we are thinking about you for sure. So, um, okay, well, let's kick things off with Jeremiah Stroop now from yourweekendrundown.com. Come explore some fantastic fall events with us and make the most of your precious days off. <laughs> Explore this lineup of fresh events in a city near you. Fall is in the air and we've got some fantastic events so that even if your work week has got you feeling like running for the weekend, you can make the most of your precious days off. This is your Weekend Rundown. Let's get started. Hey everyone, Jeremiah Stroop here, and for well over two decades, I've had the honor of featuring small local businesses and shops, as well as creators and artists in our local community. And I'm extra excited to offer up a lineup of some fresh local events, so you know your dollars are making a difference close to home. This is your Weekend Rundown. Let's get into it. Are you looking for a way to turn Portland into a giant game board? Cure your lockdown boredom with a citywide scavenger hunt. Urban Adventure Quest has created an interactive scavenger hunt that combines the fun of the amazing race with a three-hour sightseeing tour of Portland. Guided by any smartphone, grab your group and make your way through well-known and overlooked gyms of the city, solving clues and completing challenges while learning local history. Head to urbanadventurequest.com to scoop up your ticket for your team of two to five and explore the City of Roses. Exploring the City of Roses this weekend? Check out this awesome Portland area event. Oregon Black Pioneers, traveling exhibition, Black in Oregon, 1840 to 1870, highlights some of the black individuals and families who came to Oregon during the years of legalized racial exclusion when the provincial and territorial governments of Oregon explicitly barred blacks from residency and legal protections. These black pioneers risked everything to build a better life for themselves and their families in Oregon and help lay the foundation for the state's future black communities. Sponsored by Skin by Lovely, this exhibition is included with your admission to Piddock Mansion now through November 13th. You're invited to a Fall Product Blast webinar. This exclusive event will be visible online for just 24 hours. It's free, fun, and a wonderful way to address some of the top leading concerns with great product solutions and dynamic brands to help you look and feel your best as we wrap up 2022 and get ready for a brand new year. Contact our friends at ShopFlux for the link and exclusive password so you can become the best version of you in 2022. Will you be around the Salem, Oregon area this weekend? Check out this fresh event. Head down to the Elsinore Theater in Salem, Oregon for Dry Bar Comedy Tour Live. This wildly popular online series of specials that offers clean comedy for everyone is expanding to live shows featuring comedians who've become Drybar fan favorites. Since its launch, Drybar comedy specials have generated over 1 billion views on social media and millions of fans. Head to the Elsinore Theater Friday, November 18th to experience Drybar comedy live. Well, there you go. Some fresh local events for you to explore and you'll know your dollars are making a difference close to home in the communities that you care about. Of course, there's so much more to see on our website, yourweekendrundown.com. And be sure to subscribe and follow us on our social media accounts for instant updates and the chance to be added to our VIP guest list. Of course, we'll be back next week broadcasting locally and streaming globally, and I'll see you then. I'm Jeremiah Stroop, and remember, it's your weekend. You might as well run it. Lots going on in the Northwest, Jeremiah. We appreciate that. And we're going to check in with him coming up right after the break. He's got a Taylor Swift impersonator interview. Stay with us. Kaylee, good to see you. Happy November, everybody. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Jim Horton with the Zachary Horton Foundation. I'd like to invite you to our Family Support Group, a resource for families or loved ones affected by substance abuse or addiction. 
Hi, my name is Patrick Jones. I'm running for your Fowler City Council. I'm a 50-year citizen of Fowler, U.S. Army veteran, and a Fowler High graduate. I want to put the C back in community. The C for me is change for a brighter future, caring for all citizens of Fowler, complete transparency of our city government, and cut wasteful spending. There's one hot topic in Fowler right now, and that is our fire station. I am fully in support of bringing our fire station and our firefighters back to their station here in Fowler. I will be a city councilman for everybody in town, not just a certain neighborhood. Fowler's hottest new martial arts gym. You'll get a kick out of it. Jesse Tyler's with us today, of course, a fantastic impersonator of Taylor Swift. And we are going into spooky season, so you've got some fun events coming up. What are you looking forward to this Halloween season? So this Halloween season, um, this Friday, uh, we have, it's not so much spooky, but we do have uh, Taylor Swift's Midnight's Release Party in the Arts District downtown Las Vegas, uh, hosted by the one and only J. Joe Lee from RuPaul's Drag Race and Dragula. Wow. And is that someone you're excited to perform with? I cannot wait. I started doing drag as a Taylor Swift impersonator if she were a drag queen. Um, and here I am three years later, full circle, working with my idol. So I'm very excited. <laughs> that is so awesome. Well, we have some other events coming up later on this season, the spooky season, we'll say, uh, coming up on October 30th at the Palms. Are you going to be doing Taylor with a spooky twist? We will be doing Taylor Swift and Taylor Swift with a little bit of a spooky twist. I love it. That is so good. Now, what do you love about Taylor Swift? What, you know, out of all the folks you could have impersonated, you chose this particular entertainer. Taylor Swift was one of those artists who I connected with growing up. Um, the, you know, through school, through relationships, she was the only artist that um, I could really listen to her music and put it into my life and what I was going through and get through it, so. Wow. So what advice would you give to someone who maybe wants to break into the entertainment business or even do impersonations like you do? I think one of the biggest things that I struggled with was um, taking in too much criticism um, and influence from other people. Um, I would just say be true to yourself. If you are passionate about something and someone is giving you advice against it, go for it. Do, do what your heart feels is right for you. Otherwise, it's just going to prevent you from doing what you want to do. Now, you don't just do Taylor Swift. What other kinds of drag or performances do you do? Um, so outside of Taylor Swift, I do regular, regular drag. Uh, the big Texas hair, we call it Barber Girl Drag. Um, I'm when I'm in Taylor and when I'm doing Jesse, it's like two completely different people. When I'm doing Taylor, I'm more reserved and quiet and composed. And when I'm, you know, doing Jesse, I'm more outgoing. I'm more fun. I talk a lot more. Um, I'm a lot louder, for sure. Yes. And you said that big Texas hair because you got your start down in Texas. Is that right? Yes. And how is it being here in Las Vegas? It's, it's actually really fun um, because Las Vegas has drag queens from all over. Mm -hmm. um, so you see a little bit of Texas, you see a little bit of California, New York, kind of all over the place. So it, it, it's one of those cities where any type of drag truly flourishes. So I hear that you have a performance coming up at the Westgate. Tell us about that. Um, our residency starts in February at the Westgate Casino Resort. I'm very, very excited. You'll be able to see myself as Taylor Swift, among other illusions. Um, and of course, we'll have Cher, um, Tina Turner, Whitney Houston, Diana Ross. It's going to be so much fun. All the favorites. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, thanks for stopping by and sharing with us about your experiences and also the fun things that you have coming up with your career. Of course, it was a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Patrick Jones. I'm running for your Fowler City Council. I'm a 50-year citizen of Fowler, U.S. Army veteran, and a Fowler High graduate. I want to put the C back in community. The C for me is change for a brighter future, caring for all citizens of Fowler, complete transparency of our city government, and cut wasteful spending. There's one hot topic in Fowler right now, and that is our fire station. I am fully in support of bringing our fire station and our firefighters back to their station here in Fowler. I will be a city councilman for everybody in town, not just a certain neighborhood. Hi, I'm Jim Horton with the Zachary Horton Foundation. I'd like to invite you to our Family Support Group, a resource for families or loved ones affected by substance abuse or addiction. Fowler's hottest new martial arts gym. You'll get a kick out of it. Hey, I'm Athena, and here's what's going down, and here's what's trending. Now we're in the beginning of November. There is a turkey shortage. It happened last year with the chicken, chicken wings, and now it's uh, turkeys. They don't know exactly why. I mean, it is supply and demand. Uh, Thanksgiving is coming up within the next three weeks, but they're talking about maybe because it's because of the flu, the Evian flu, and that's the other thing that's trending. So just be aware of that. Of course, it's COVID. It's co of course, it's the flu. And just use your common sense because the flu is trending. Try to get your flu shot if you can, but if not, wash your hands. Do the same thing as we've been doing all these years because the flu is coming back again in full vengeance. So that's what's trending besides the shortage of turkeys because of the flu. The other thing that's trending is McDonald's. The McRib is back, but this time, we talked about this last year that the McRib is back. It's back, but it's the farewell tour. So this may be the last season of the McRib. It started just a couple days ago. Go to your local McDonald's or where you get your McDonald's food, and you can even get merch starting a couple days ago of the farewell tour of the McDonald's McRib. I'm Athena, and that's what's trending. Time to get serious because we are talking about the city of Fowler. We have a big city council election coming up and joining us in our Tower District studios today is one candidate hoping to be your next city councilor. This is Patrick Jones. Hello there. Welcome, sir. Hi, nice to be here. Good to meet you. Thanks for coming on. Oh, no problem. You ran for Fowler City Council four years ago. So you've decided to, so you took a little time off from uh, politics, a few years break, and then uh, here in 2022, you're jumping back in. Why? Because there's a, I want to put the C back in community. It, it's time to do that. The city's kind of went a different direction than I all say all the old timers, you know, had envisioned Fowler to go. Um, but putting a C back in community for me is commitment to the community, which is change for a brighter future. And that pretty much sums up my whole campaign slogan. You know, I can elaborate more on that as people come in and talk to me and, you know, just get to know me a little more. Lifelong fellow resident. Veteran. Veteran, U.S. Army veteran. Thank you. And I just want to see Fowler a brighter future. You were telling me that there's a few things going on in the city of Fowler. What's happening right now? Uh, well, one of the things that's got all the citizens, you know, really, I don't want to say up in arms, but up in arms, is there was a decision made on our fire department, our volunteer fire department, to uh, disband it and go with, you know, Fresno County Fire to do our fire suppression duties right now. Um, there was a lot of ideas on the table, you know, that basically for one reason or another was shot down. Mm -hmm. uh, 
we have a councilman that you know put up a lot of different ideas budgets you know and nothing was accepted and I just want to see I have to see everything for myself you know if any of his proposals would work you know I would be all in favor of bringing back our fire department um, I stand behind them 100% uh, Fowler's had a volunteer fire department for over 100 years and that is one thing I want to see brought back there are other items in Fowler I want to be a city councilman for the whole town no matter where you live I mean you could live in the most affluent neighborhood or you can live you know on the other side of the tracks where a lot of older homes I want to be the councilman that represents everyone and I have a complete open door policy I own a martial arts school in Fowler and my door is open to any of Fowler students that want to come in and talk you know sit down have some coffee just good conversation the City Council right now um, what do you think they're making good decisions do you think they're making bad decisions what, what is your feedback on that honestly I don't know if they're making the right decisions I'm not gonna say they're bad or good um, but in my opinion it's not their decisions they're making they're following lead from you know the city government in Bella so they're taking their lead from that they're I believe that they're not making their own decisions they're being led to these decisions and it's time that the council starts leading these decisions not following them in Fowler um, what makes Fowler unique compared to Fresno and uh, even Clovis or even Sanger what makes Fowler cool Fowler is cool because we are your typical small town rural community that is close enough to everything within 20 minutes to give us that big town appeal with the small community feel yeah and um, as far as you know this election I know that you, you told me that back four years ago you had only like 10 yard signs uh, but yet you still came in I mean you you almost we, won. We come in close, we come in close. So is this a, uh, how are you going to run your campaign? Is it going to be a grassroots effort? Uh, are you looking for donations? Um, I'm, I'm looking for any donations of any size. Um, even if one of my martial arts students come up to me and said, Plonginim, that's my title, uh -huh. here's a quarter for your campaign. In any, any size donation is acceptable. You know, and I can guarantee you 100% of every penny is going to be spent within the campaign. I have 100% transparency in the campaign, and I want to be 100%, and I will be 100% transparent on the council. So the, the election day is? November 8th. November 8th, okay. Um, so what is the plan uh, between now and November? Um, right now, I'm going to do a couple more podcasts and get some more, you know, video of me out there on Facebook and, you know, Twitter and, all, you know, I have a person that's doing some of that for me. Um, I'm going to be doing a couple fundraisers, you know, to and meet and greets, you know, and we're hoping, you know, it's in the, in the works. There's another big announcement that will be coming here fairly soon I don't want to let the cat out of the bag yet that's fine but um, and I think Fowler people will enjoy it you know it will definitely shine a new light on the council race and they'll be able to see where the all the candidates are sitting how many people are running as of right now do you know uh, right now uh, filings closed and I know there's six candidates running oh wow okay this will be an interesting race then yeah for two seats for two seats right two yeah, seats. yeah 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 so um, okay people can learn more of course on your website right or uh, maybe Instagram what's the best way to reach out to you uh, 
probably a, be uh, Facebook. Okay, perfect. You know, Facebook, Instagram. You know, we're going to be creating different, you know, avenues for people to, you know, see, view, okay. you know, chat, yeah. whatever they want to do. Like I said, I'm I'm open to anything, anybody. Lots to come. Uh, the election is still a few months away, but yeah, you're you've made the announcement. It's official now. Yeah. If you win, I want to ask you something. Uh, will you promise that you'll give me my you'll you'll give your first interview to me? I will promise that, and it won't be if it's when I win. When you win, that's right. So we'll see you on November 9th. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank sir. you, Patrick. Take care. Fowler's hottest new martial arts gym. You'll get a kick out of it. Hi, I'm Jim Horton with the Zachary Horton Foundation. I'd like to invite you to our family support group a resource for families or loved ones affected by substance abuse or addiction. Hey, another great show. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Austin Reed. I'm Kaylee Kwashnick. How can people follow you? Um, follow my Instagram, Kaylee Q on air. Wow, down below. Yeah. Now, can I say a funny story about that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Go ahead. her last her her last Instagram handle, what was it? It was Kaylee Kwashnick, MCJ journalism. I don't know. It was something too complicated for now everybody to find. Now it's easy. Now it's short and simple. Give her a follow. You can follow me too at Austin Green on Air. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you next week. Fowler's hottest new martial arts gym. You'll get a kick out of it. Hi, my name is Patrick Jones. I'm running for your Fowler City Council. I'm a 50-year citizen of Fowler, U.S. Army veteran, and a Fowler High graduate. I want to put the C back in community. The C for me is change for a brighter future, caring for all citizens of Fowler, complete transparency of our city government, and cut wasteful spending. There's one hot topic in Fowler right now, and that is our fire station. I am fully in support of bringing our fire station and our firefighters back to their station here in Fowler. I will be a city councilman for everybody in town, not just a certain neighborhood. Hi, I'm Jim Horton with the Zachary Horton Foundation. I'd like to invite you to our family support group, a resource for families or loved ones affected by substance abuse or addiction.